Oh. Who doesn't like nuts and seeds? They taste amazing. And they're actually pretty gosh darn good for you. But did you know those nuts you're buying at the grocery store can be kind of bad for you? Mm. They just don't take the time needed to turn raw nuts into the healthy superfood they can be. Now you might be wondering what it is they aren't doing. Am I right? Well, it's actually quite simple. And it all comes down to water. There's this thing called phytic acid. It's a pale yellow liquid found in grains, nuts, beans, and seeds. Usually, it is in the outer layer of the plant seed. It serves a wonderful purpose in nature of protecting the seed from germinating too early. When the rains come in and the seed soaks for a while, a transformation takes place. This was discovered back in the 1940s when Dr. Edward Mellonby did some research on phytic acid and discovered that a chemical change took place. In scientific terms, it was hydrolyzed. So what does that mean? To oversimplify, the phytic acid reacts with the water and decomposes into two different compounds that the body can easily digest. Unfortunately, if high levels of phytic acid are left in our foods on a consistent basis, the results can be... The phytic acid compound combines with the valuable minerals in our foods we eat and binds to them so that our bodies don't absorb them, which is why it's called an anti-nutrient. The consequences of leaving phytic acid and other anti-nutrients in our foods can be severe. Without phosphorus, you've got rickets. Poor calcium absorption, tooth decay. And who can forget about irritable bowel syndrome? Wow. So, how do we reduce the phytic acid and other anti-nutrients? That's where we come in. We simply need to hydrolyze the phytic acid with a little of this. <laughs> <laughs>